Now to one of our top stories. Now, social media giant Meta has told the Delhi High Court that since it's a private entity, the right for freedom of speech cannot be invoked against it. Meta's response comes in view of a petition filed by a user against disabling of his Instagram account. The US-based company in its argument stated that it's a case of contractual dispute between the company and its user. Remember, Meta is the mother organization of Instagram and Facebook. Let me go across to my colleague Nilashish for more on this. Nilashish, tell us exactly what was the argument built by Meta in court. Right, so this is, of course, once again, bringing the spotlight on the freedom of speech debate on Internet. Now, this is, of course, a statement which has come through from, the, from Meta on a, a case, a hearing which was going on in Delhi High Court, where Meta has said during its argument in court that in freedom of speech cannot be invoked against it. I'm uh, rejoined by my colleague Nilashish. Nilashish, st Nilashish, take us through the arguments that Meta made in courtroom. Well, yes, uh, this uh, argument has been made by, via Meta, uh, by Meta via an affidavit filed in response to a, a plea by U.S.-based company Wokeflix, which has uh, uh, alleged that uh, the disabling of its account was done wrongfully by Instagram. And now Meta has come out and clearly stated that uh, Article 19 or the right to free speech cannot be invoked against it by a user since it is a private entity. Meta has clearly stated it is a private entity and it does not discharge any sort of public function and a constitutional right or a fundamental right can only be invoked against a public functionary, not against a private individual. So what has been said uh, clearly by Meta is uh, that uh, the IT rules require that intermediaries like Facebook, like Instagram, uh, must provide an opportunity to individuals to appeal against any sort of suspension of their accounts after an action has been taken. Now, in this case, uh, what this U.S.-based company want, uh, was uh, aggrieved by was that an opportunity was not given to it to be heard before its account uh, was allegedly suspended or was allegedly blocked. Now, uh, Meta says that... Uh, Instagram is a free service, it's a voluntary platform, and it is governed by a, uh, by a private contract. Therefore, mm -hmm. no uh, user has a fundamental right to use it. And therefore, a prayer which uh, seeks that uh, the company or the user must be given an opportunity right. to be heard before any action is taken is contrary to the law. So, Meta right. making it sound very clear as far as its uh, its own right to suspend or block an account is concerned. Right, and Ashish, thank you so much for joining us with that. I'm also joined on the show by Mr. Kanish Gaur, who's a, a cyber expert. Uh, Mr. Gaur, first we want to ask basically that, you know, this once again brings in the free speech debate on the net in the spotlight. You know, we are seeing Meta is making a very logical argument in court, essentially saying that you can't invoke freedom of speech on us. We are a private entity. We are not here to do any sort of, uh, you know, public service to the people. So this freedom of speech, Article 19, cannot be used in our case. But, you know, this also brings in the question as to more content moderation online. You know, we've touched on this topic even with, during the time when Elon Musk took over Twitter. So this is once again raising this question like what can people actually expect is this a good move that we keep the distinction between a private and a public service when it comes to these social media platforms uh, and not get into content moderation leave it to the company to do it if at all or is this bringing in a very um, you know problematic point into the picture as to whether uh, you know freedom of speech and uh, aspect should be left up to a private corporation or not it's a very important point that you've raised. Uh, companies like Meta, one, have to comply to the intermediary guidelines which Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology has set. So if a user feels that there, is a, there are certain violations, they can refer to the intermediary guidelines. Secondly, this, uh, when a user subscribes to a platform of Meta, whether it is Instagram or Facebook, they are getting into a private contract with the company and company is not liable and accountable for providing any sort of services under which freedom of expression can be invoked. When we sign up any of for these services, Meta comes up with its community standards. The issue is people don't read the community standards today. The community standards clearly talk about 
certain sections under which an account can be taken down. So these, this includes violence and criminal behavior, safety. This talks about objectionable content, integrity and authenticity, respecting intellectual property, content related requests, which could be taken down uh, if a minor is using the account or additionally protecting somebody's identity. Now, these are aspects which are missed out by users. They just sign up, they don't read through the agreement, and then when they feel that their account has been taken down without giving them a proper hearing, they should actually go back to these community standards and read through, and then raise a request where most of these answers are already available because most of these have been formed not keeping, just say, Indian laws, but global laws. Again, and you must understand that Meta is a global company. If it starts following constitutions of different countries, it's really very difficult for a private company to operate globally. That's why they have set up these global community standards and they have been done keeping in mind certain IT rules which have come in, in different parts of the world. Say if you look at uh, US, there are US laws. If it is Europe, then you have GDPR. If it is India, you have the intermediary guidelines. Uh, if the user feels his, his rights have still been uh, you know, uh, misuse, he can refer to the intermediary guidelines. The intermediary guidelines can clearly call out what are specific aspects under which he can approach the court and file a complaint. Right. Uh, Karish, one last question to you. I mean, as you said that there are, of course, specific rules and the user can, uh, you know, probably needs to be aware of them as well uh, in following these guidelines. But, uh, you know, do you think there also, in terms of all the social media platforms, it would be helpful to have one, you know, maybe, you know, them getting together in terms of formulating one particular guideline which they can follow? Because a Mark Zuckerberg might think a certain way and Elon Musk might think a completely different way. So that might confuse a user who might be on different platforms. But to remember that you have a certain rule for one and not for the other. Do you think uniformly this distinction should be, uh, you know, is it even possible to have a kind of uniformity between all social media platforms when it comes to freedom of speech and, you know, specific content which is uh, acceptable or not? That's possible, but that's not what the company should be doing. Because if the company is doing, then they are getting into the, the space of the government. It is governments that should be looking at digital rights, digital uh, acts and we have seen that globally a lot of countries are coming up with these digital acts which will moderate social media platforms in terms of how they work their community standards that should be followed and we've seen such some of these coming out in europe in uk in australia and if you look at the speech which was made by our honorable minister of state for it mr rajiv chandrasekhar he also spoke about india coming out with a digital framework under which there will be a digital safety guidelines under the digital safety guidelines, I think we are looking at coming out with a single standard which will be enforced to all significant social media platforms, which mm -hmm. will make life much more simpler. Right, Mr. Kanish Gaur there, thank you so much for joining us on this very important topic which actually touches all our lives on freedom of speech on the internet, this entire debate, which has been triggered once again with this statement by Meta to the Delhi High Court.